the coronavirus is a respiratory virus and it can be spread like other respiratory viruses such as the cold or the flu. And so really to protect ourselves, we should just use common sense and good hygiene. If we're sick, we should stay home. If it's not possible for us to stay home because of class or work or other things, then really we need to uh, be very conscious of our contact with other people. There's something called social distancing, which means that if you do have the sniffles, which many of us do at this time of year, then make sure that we are not um, touching and hugging and kissing folks, you know, that we're waving high instead of the usual handshake. Um, make sure that if we do cough or sneeze, we're doing this and not just spewing it all over. Um, if we use a tissue, just use it once, throw it away. Uh, I would recommend actually carrying a separate bag or something so that you can just deposit like right by you. Um, and above all, do frequent hand washing. Uh, if you can't do hand washing, then definitely carry hand sanitizer. For the hand washing, the recommendation is at least 20 seconds. And you're thinking, how much is that? It's really two happy birthday songs. And so just hum or sing happy birthday uh, twice while you're washing your hands. Make sure you wash all the way in between fingers, in your fingernails, and up past your wrists or where your wristwatch area is. Um, and if, it's, if you're using hand sanitizer, it needs to have at least 60% alcohol. Um, pretty much all of the hand sanitizers do, including the ones uh, that you might buy uh, from certain stores that have wonderful fragrances. Once you have washed your hands, to be very conscious about not touching your face. It's very hard. Many of us have allergies here in Hawaii with our beautiful flowers and trees. And so we're constantly rubbing our nose and eyes and whatnot. So really just, I think we have to practice being very thoughtful and trying not to um, touch our nose. Uh, respiratory viruses are spread or, or they enter the body through the mucous membranes in our nose and mouth, even our eyes. And so again, that's why just kind of avoiding people who are actively sneezing. If you're an actively sneezing person, please be considerate and do not actively sneeze or cough on anyone. Um, those kinds of things are really the most important things that we can do at this time. A lot of people ask about the masks and will the mask help protect me? And the answer is no. If you are healthy, um, wearing a mask will not necessarily protect you. When you should be wearing a mask is when you're sick. And so if you have to go to work, if you have to go to school and you do have a runny nose um, or sneezing, uh, then, then you should wear a mask and it's really to help protect others from you transmitting whatever virus is to them. But if you're healthy, uh, you do not need to wear a mask and in fact, it's advised not to wear a mask. Uh, and that'll help with our uh, supplies. Uh, the whole world is running short of uh, what we call personal protective equipment or PPE. These include masks, gowns, and gloves. And we really, really wanna make sure that we're conserving our, our, all of those supplies for the healthcare workers who are directly taking care of those patients. And so please be calm and um, don't necessarily rush out to buy any masks. Don't, don't pay $70 for a mask um, because it's really not necessary if you're healthy. If you're immunocompromised, then you're a special consideration of person. If you, uh, for whatever reason, do not have a spleen, which is one of the major organs that helps to uh, produce the cells that fight off infection, then there definitely are special, uh, extra special considerations for you. Uh, if you or your family member um, is suffering from cancer, uh, is actively undergoing uh, treatment with chemotherapy, uh, is on hemodialysis, uh, or a, a bunch of other conditions, and basically, if you're considered immunocompromised, then you do need to take special precautions. Uh, and it's really best to look at the Department of Health website for more information and guidance uh, if you're an immunocompromised individual. But most of us, fortunately, are not immunocompromised. And so I think using um, a lot of good common sense and respect for others and trying not to um, intentionally infect anyone is really the best practice. Thank you.